okay so now you understood yes so uh, yes so hello everyone in the previous class we have talked about what is electronics we have talked about electrical circuit so when we add electrical circuit, some control components, so that we call it as an electronic system. Okay. So as as like you can see that in the in this particular uh, figure, you can see that dimmer dimmer acts as an electronic circuit for this particular electrical system. So okay. So uh, then we talked about uh, electrical charges. That is positive charge, negative charge. We have talked about. Okay. And uh, we talked about electrical energy. What is nothing but the current. Okay and then uh, in order to understand how this current flows we are explored about uh, the atoms so atoms has protons neutrons and electrons so that you can see in this particular diagram okay and then uh, if you see this copper atom so it has one loosely held electrons which is at the outermost cell okay so uh, this electrons try to move from one atom to another item which causes the conduction which causes the conduction so then we talked about uh, the conductor okay so like copper silver aluminium and other metals the building blocks of okay so other metals okay so uh, yes so copper uh, okay so copper silver and aluminium these are the examples of your uh, conductor okay and uh, uh, we have this insulators like air, gas, paper, plastics. They do not conduct the electricity. That we call it as insulator. Okay. So in conductor, as we as I already talked to you about that, in outer electrons of each atoms are bound so loosely that many of them break free and jump around from one item to another item. This is why they are conducting. Okay. So uh, so. Uh, so uh, so this if you see that particular electrons they don't move from the uh, uh, you can see that they uh, don't move far away okay they just move uh, very very shorter distance okay and with along with the push okay so that uh, uh, that they, they can move from one place to another place that we can see so what is that external force that or you can say push that we call it as as a voltage okay so this is what particular one electrons from one item this is second electron from second item okay and they start moving from one end to another end throughout this conductor okay so from one end to another end so the electrons start moving okay so they are not start moving from this place to like this place okay so it's like a bucket brigade game so we have to uh, have, have uh, I have visualized you about the bucket brigade game in the uh, in the previous class. Okay, uh, yes. Uh, so the strength of electric current is defined by how many charge carriers that is in terms of electrons which passes uh, uh, in one second. Okay, how much charge carriers that is electrons which moves or you can say which passes from uh, 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 passes from one second passes in one second that is a fixed point. Okay. So uh, this is what the, we call it as a current when current is major in terms of amperes current is major in terms of amperes and the unit of uh, you can say uh, current okay it is abbreviated or you can say uh, in some some of the circuits okay so you can find it that in terms of ampere they are right okay in terms of amps they are, are written and then sometimes you can find it as a a so a represents what is the current value okay so what is one ampere we are talking about so one ampere is nothing but six two four one and then zero 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 triple times zero triple times zero and then last triple times zero this is nothing but electrons per second okay this is what the strength of electrical current and how do we measure uh, 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 that uh, okay so so electronic current can be measured in terms of ampere so measuring electronic currents if you if you understand about the how the water flow Okay, water flow per minute, or you can say liter per second, for instance. Okay, so uh, yes, so uh, you, uh, one one more term that is Coulomb here we can see that. So what is the term that particular Coulomb? So the Coulomb is de describing that magnitude of uh, you can say that charge carried by this much number of electrons. This is what the Coulomb. So a Coulomb is related to ampere. In that you can say that one coulomb is nothing but the amount of charge carried by one ampere per second okay one ampere, uh, one ampere of current per second okay so coulombs uh, 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 coulombs you can say that uh, in order to understand uh, the moving charge or current or you can say uh, this is important term okay so how much uh, you can say uh, 
current which is uh, uh, passed per second okay or uh, you can say that uh, coulomb is related to an ampere uh, that one coulombs is nothing but the amount of charge which is carried by uh, one ampere of current in one second okay so for example uh, if we take an example of refrigerator so you can see that for the refrigerator you can see that if if you see the current rating so it will be like three to five amperes of current it can handle or you can say if you have a toaster machine then roughly you can say that it is it's 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 it draws nine ampere of current okay uh, uh, and then uh, uh, if if you see the electronic circuit, okay. If you come, this is what all electrical system. And if you see the electronic circuits, okay. So there is very small amount of current. Uh, you can say they are drawing. So in that small amount of current, you can say that it is in terms of, uh, it is in terms of uh, milliseconds. Okay, it is in in terms of, in terms of. Uh, millisecond in terms of when we talk about electronic circuit so okay so what is milli uh, sorry uh, current means milliamperes not milliseconds okay milliamperes so what is milliamperes it is nothing but uh, 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 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 ampere okay 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 ampere or you can say that it is 0 0.001 ampere okay now again uh, again um, yes now this is what what we uh, studied so far okay uh, in the previous class so you can if you want to uh, experience okay if you want to personally experience the kind of electricity okay so how do you experience the electricity electricity how do you experience the electricity you can experience your electricity uh, uh, when you shuffle your hands okay like in the winter season or if you shuffle your feet across uh, uh, the carpet okay uh, uh, okay, uh, and then after after you can say that shuffling of your feet or shuffling of your hands. Sometimes it, it can be uh, when you sleep. Okay, like uh, likewise in the winter season, you uh, you uh, you wear that particular blanket. So it will it will create some charges over you. Okay, it will create some charges over you. And what happens if you sometimes uh, you touch uh, any material where that charge to pass? Okay, like a doorknob, we can say that. Okay, so touching a doorknob. Okay, so this is what the electrical charge particle which are there on your body okay or they are jump from uh, uh, from your fingertip to your uh, your door nap okay this is what uh, called as static electricity so this is what the type of electricity or you can say static electricity okay so what is static electricity static electricity is nothing but the accumulation of your electrical charge particles okay and they remain uh, uh, remain static static means they don't move okay they remain static unless you uh, you draw it unless you draw it for example like touching a doorknob okay or sometimes uh, generally what happens uh, uh, in the winter season okay so uh, uh, so i drive a car okay so the charged particles which are there along with my uh, shirt okay so it depends upon that shirt okay uh, so uh, when i touch uh, the door of my car while while coming out of the car okay so i will get some sort of shocks okay some sort of shock very small amount of okay that is like a zapier sound okay a zap okay you can see that okay so uh, likewise the static electricity is there okay this is what you can experience okay one one more example if you want to experience the electricity okay it's like a lightning okay so lightning again one of the example of static electricity okay but uh, yes of course you don't want to experience it personally so what is happening in the lightning so uh, there are some charged particles which are traveling from one cloud to another cloud okay so what is lightning it's 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 a charged particles and they are traveling from one cloud to another cloud now somewhere they have to draw somewhere they have to draw so when they touch to the ground okay that is what we call it as the lightning uh, uh, that is what we call it as lightning so that energy which is resulting from this particular movement okay uh, that is from air to air okay uh, that is from cloud to cloud in the air surrounding okay so if you if you talk about this energy in terms of celsius so it is around 20000 celsius so lightning in the air, uh, air and then uh, if, if you can heard that audible shock sound okay that is thunderstorm sound that we call it as so this is what one of the examples of uh, you can say electricity which you can experience in day to day life okay so next next we, we will talk about okay next we will talk about the understanding of the voltage okay so what how do we understand this voltage quantity okay so uh, first uh, i will explain you about uh, what is electric current 
okay so we again okay so we have talked about electric current so what is electric current so electric current is nothing but the flow of negatively charged electrons through a conductor okay so you have electrons on that conductor okay and then uh, that negatively charged uh, uh, conductors flowing from one end to another end that we have seen okay so flow of negatively charged conductor uh, negatively charged electrons through a conductor when we apply some external push or we apply external force okay but just uh, what is the force that uh, you can say that provoke that electrons to move in that particular harmon okay uh, so this is what the question so okay so the force that pushes this electrons okay the force that pushes this electrons okay technically we are talking about okay the force which pushes that electrons along is technically called as electromotive force okay and sometimes it is uh, you can say abbreviated as emf that is electromotive force or sometimes you can refer it as e but it is more commonly known as a voltage but it is more commonly known as a voltage and it is abbreviated as a v so you measure a voltage uh, 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 how do you measure a voltage or uh, what is the unit of voltage the unit of voltage is a volt okay unit of voltage is a volt fine now uh, uh, yes so if if you want to think that uh, thinking of applying enough voltage to a conductor or you can say uh, which provides a complete path through which an electric charge can move and the free electrons in the conductor's atoms will move in the same direction okay so like if if you if you, if you want to think of it so you have seen that uh, ships okay ships ship s h w -E p okay so how they uh, uh, in the end of the day they are start fasting uh, they, they start moving towards their pen or you can say towards moving their shelter in the evening very much faster okay so this is what so think of uh, voltage as electrical pressure also so what is uh, uh, electrical pressure so in uh, um, uh, uh, you can if you want to understand so you can understand that water pressure okay water pressure uh, which pushes uh, the water uh, through pipes and walls okay so likewise voltage pushes the electrons through a conductor okay what is the analogy so if you see that water pressure or if you want to think of uh, voltage how it is like that so you can think of that uh, uh, water pressure which pushes uh, water through pipes so you have a pipe and then uh, the water is flowing through it so what is the pressure water pressure so water pressure what it does it will it will pushes the water through pipes and the valves okay so likewise if you have a, a narrow edge pipe or you can say uh, if you have a, 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 a um, that is taps okay so half inch or two inch or one inch likewise dimensions you have uh, depends upon your that water pressure okay so it will it will it will uh, pass that particular water so so if you if you think of that particular analogy so higher is the water pressure okay higher is the water pressure stronger is the push okay higher is the water pressure stronger is the push that means higher is the voltage higher is the voltage then stronger is the electric current which flows through a conductor okay higher is the uh, voltage that means stronger the electric current that flow through any conductor so next, uh, uh, yes, next, next, let me admit for more students, okay. So, so why voltage to, uh, why voltage is nothing but, we, when we talk about voltage, why it is nothing but a difference between the two, okay. So what is voltage? A voltage is simply a difference in electrical charge between the two points, okay. That's why voltage needs to be different, okay. So voltage is simply a difference in electrical charge between two points okay electrical charge between uh, uh, two points okay and what are those points so if you see the battery okay if you see the battery there is negatively charged atom okay uh, build uh, uh, build with the uh, uh, okay there are two metals like you can see that two metals or you can say that it is then elect electrodes okay so uh, one is with negatively charged atoms and another one with the positively charged atom okay and uh, they create a voltage across these two plates 
okay they creates a voltage across the these two plates that we can see it here okay one is negatively charged this is what your positively charged and this is what the chemical okay uh, we are we will see this okay what this is what battery okay and then uh, the difference okay you can you can say that the difference or you can say the voltage across these two plates okay now uh, now if you provide some conductive path between uh, these metal plates okay the, if you see this uh, uh, the, these two electrodes or uh, metal you can say that so if you provide a conductive path okay conductive path means a closed path between these two plates you enables that uh, that excess of these electrons which is travel from one plate to other plate okay so that then so that the current will flow in order to neutralize the charge okay in order to neutralize the charge so if you place a wire across it or if you place a load across it likewise the light bulbs okay which you can see in the next ppt also okay so if you place uh, if you make a conductive path okay that is closed circuit path okay and then if you place some kind of loads to it okay likewise the light bulbs okay so it 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 will it will start moving from this negative to positive okay this electron start moving to the negative to positive in order to make it as neutralized in order to make it the neutralize that particular charge so the electromotive force okay that compels current to flow when the circuit is completed is okay i'm, I'm repeating the statement okay the electromotive force that compels current to flow when circuit is completed okay and it is created by the difference between the charges at the battery terminal okay so we will we will talk yes we will talk about this battery how it is works okay in the in, in the next lectures uh, okay maybe when we talk about uh, the current okay so a alternative current or direct current okay how the, how that is okay uh, from a battery okay so you can say that direct current from battery so that that is that will be will we will see in the next class okay so uh, so, so sometimes you have uh, heard this kind of terms like potential difference or voltage potential okay or you can say potential drop or a voltage drop okay all these terms describe the voltage okay so in in your ninth or your tenth even eleventh twelfth if you are from electronic background so if you have some some kind of subject so these terms you may heard like potential difference uh, potential drop or voltage drop or voltage potential okay so what is this potential means the word potential means the possibility that uh, uh, the current may flow if the com if you complete that particular circuit okay so what is the possibility that the current will flow if you complete that particular circuit okay and if you talk about this word drop okay or uh, you can say a potential uh, uh, sorry drop and or you can say a difference so both these words refers to the difference in the charge that creates its voltage okay so okay i will repeat what is potential it is nothing but the possibility that the current may flow if you complete the circuit and what is drop and the difference it refers what is the difference in the charge that carries that particular voltage or the, the difference in the charge that creates the voltage okay again uh, yes maybe we will see it in the next okay next class okay when we talk about uh, 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 this voltages and batteries okay so yes so what is this as electron so electrical energy to work so now we we know about this uh, we we've talked about this energy or conductions and electrical energy okay now how to get uh, that particular energy into the works or you can say how to tap that electrical energy okay so yes so this is what we diagram we have already seen okay so as electrons travel through a conductor this is what the meaning they transport energy from one end to other end so you can see that through a conductor is there and then you have electrons and they uh, start moving from one item to another item okay so when after the push okay of course of the push or after the spools okay so as electrons travel through the conductor they transport energy from one end of the conductor to the other end okay likewise or you can say that because uh, uh, because these are the electrons okay or you can say likewise charges are there negative negative charges are there they repel each other so each electrons each electron exerts a non contact uh, repulsive force on the electron which is next to it okay and uh, uh, and it uh, so uh, that force uh, allows to push that electrons along the conductor 
okay and what happens if 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 this kind of cycles or this kind of, this kind of works is done so as a as a result of this okay as a result of movement of this electrons electrical energy is propagated through a conductor okay or you can say it will conduct that that we are talking about okay now now the, if if this is kind of energy is there electrical energy is there can we transport that energy to any particular object can we transport okay now uh, yes we have seen that how this energy is transferred now if we, if at all if 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 we are able to transport that energy to an object so it's kind of work that we can carry out with this electrical energy okay so if you see this particular image okay so if we transport that energy to an object that allows to work to be done such as for example light bulbs you can see that here light bulb okay so a light bulb or you can say a motor is there okay a light bulb or a motor or you can say a speaker loudspeaker you can say or uh, uh, yes speaker not loudspeaker okay speaker so so you can say that this particular energy okay electrical energy we have used it for good cause okay so light bulbs we can use for light purpose motor we can use for you can say uh, motor has various applications okay so okay so then a speaker like you, you need to understand um uh, that fluctuation of current okay i will not talk about that right now okay so how the speaker's output which comes out okay so this is what uh, we can say that so the electrical energy which carried by this electron okay this is what the electrical energy and which is carried by this electrons is absorbed by the object is absorbed by the object and then you can say that they can be transformed into another form of energy okay in the electrical energy okay here if you see that the electrical energy which is carried by this electrons okay it is absorbed by the objects like light or you can say motor okay you can say sound okay and this energy uh, or you can say that it can be transferred from one energy to another energy form such as light motion or sound fine so that's how you can make your light bulbs to glow okay so this energy has been transferred to this light in order to make your bulbs to glow or the energy which you can say uh, this electrical energy carried by the electron is absorbed by the motor or you can say specifically motor shaft in order to rotate that motor or this energy carried by the electron is absorbed by the uh, diaphragm of a speaker okay so speaker has some diaphragms okay in order to vibrate so it will vibrate so if you've seen that black color things okay so that that will vibrate and it will create a sound okay so we are not going to that right now okay but yes so this is what uh, yes so this is what the transport of the energy to an object this is what the electrical work or you can say the work which is carried by the electrical energy now the question arises now the question arises that yes now the question arises where does this electrical energy uh, the things that starts the electrons moving in the first place which comes from okay so now you, we know that about this energy okay now where from where this energy comes out okay that is what the question okay so We'll start the uh, so we can, how we can start these electrons to move from the first place okay from where this energy comes out so so what is the answer for this so the answer to this it comes from the source of electrical energy it comes from the source of electrical energy so now if you see that sources of electrical energy likewise the battery is one of the source of electrical energy okay uh, uh and then some renewable uh, renewable energy sources are there like a solar panel this is also one of the source of electrical energy okay so so this energy when we we are talking about this energy which we use to work like uh, glowing of a bulb like a uh, re, re, uh, remove uh, that uh, rotating of a motor shaft or you can say uh, listening to the sound from the speaker okay so so this is what the electrical energy okay that electron movements okay which comes close close path of it okay so wow, from where this energy comes out its energy comes from the source of electrical energy 
For example, you can see a battery. For example, if you can see the battery. Okay. Yes, we will discuss this battery also. Okay. This much. Okay. In the uh, uh, when we talk about this current also. Okay. When we talk about AC or DC current. Okay. Now the next PPT will talk about the uh, uh, you can say how do we uh, working of these electrons in order to deliver power. Okay. Working of electrons in order to deliver power. So, elect, uh, to electrons delivering energy to a light bulb. Now you can you can see that particular circuit. So, electrons which delivering its energy to a light bulb. Okay, or electrons which delivering its electrical energy or particularly energy. I can say that to a motor. Electrons delivering energy or uh, to a speaker. Okay. Or you can say many other devices. The word work has some real physical meaning here. Okay. Working electrons deliver power. So the word that I have used here, that is work, has some physical meaning. So what is work? Work is a measure of the energy which is consumed by the device over some time. Okay, I'm repeating the statement. What is work? Work is the measure of energy consumed by the device over some time when force. And what is that force? That is the voltage is applied to a bunch of electrons in the device. Okay, the straight, straight line I have written in the PPT. So work is the measure of, a measure of uh, the energy consumed by the device consumed by the device over some time when force or you can say voltage is applied to a bunch of electrons in the device okay in the device so the more electrons you push okay more electrons you push or you can say harder you push them more electrical energy is available more electrons you push or you can say harder you push more electrical energy is available and more work can be done and more work can be done okay for example uh, for example brighter the light okay so if you want to make light brighter okay you need to have more electrical energy to that okay more electrical energy or you can say now your motor is revolving around 200 revolution per minute motor shaft okay motor shaft is revolving around 200 rpm okay now if you apply more energy it will revolve around 300 rpm it will revolve around 10,000 rpm okay so depends on this energy but yes there is a concept of power also there okay so what is power power some sometimes you can refer it as in terms of p okay so sometimes p is equals to what uh, you can say 100 watt, 20 watt, 30 watts. Like you, likewise, you can see on the instruments. Okay, so what is power? Power is nothing but the total energy which is consumed by. Okay, total energy which is consumed by that equipments in order to do that particular work. Total energy consumed by the particular instrument or particular device in order to do that work over some period of time. Okay, over some period of time, and you can see that it is measured in terms of watt. It is measured in terms of watt. So there is a formula for power calculation. That is, power is nothing but voltage multiplied by current. Or you can say P is equals to V into I. OK, so the power equation is, you can say, one of the handful equation that should really pay attention because of its importance, like uh, blowing the things up. So if you see electronic part or electronic component has its limit when it comes to how much power it can handle. Okay. So likewise, one example I can say about light emitting diode that is LED. So it can handle not more than uh, 5 volt. Okay. So it cannot handle. So if you energize too many electrons. Okay. So what we have talking about, we have talking about movement of these electrons. Now, if you energize too many of electrons, in particular components okay so so what happens if you energize you can say if it is more than that limit so many electrons or you can say many movement of electrons in the particular components will be there so it will generate lot of energy what kind of energy is this this is that heat energy 
okay so likewise if you if you if you energize too many electrons in light emitting diodes or you can say led or any any, any bulb okay so it will evaporate in terms of heat energy or sometimes you can find it that your diode or your bulb has damaged or you can say uh, it it has blown up okay so many electronic components with come which which they comes with a maximum power rating so that you can avoid getting into the heating situation or you can say damaging of your electronic components so i i remind you about the importance of power consideration i will talk about this in the particular specifically next unit or you can say next ppt when i discuss about some components and their power ratings okay and then how to use this power equation in order to ensure uh, uh, the uh, protection of your parts okay that we will see in the upcoming class okay now now the next ppt will talk about how to ensure how to ensure the electrons which arrived at their destination okay so we have seen that a conductor and an electrons moving in that conductor in in a, in, a, in a direction okay in a particular direction okay now how to ensure that they should arrive at exact location okay so if you talk about electric current okay so uh, it does not uh, flow just anywhere okay likewise uh, i'm talking about so that electric current is not here okay so if it is like that so if if we talk about that electric current flow from everywhere okay so if it is like that then you will get a shock all the time okay you will get a shock all the time so this is not the case so electron does not flow anywhere okay so how does electron flow so electron flow only if you provide a closed conductive path okay this is what i have written here so electron flow only if you provide a closed conductive path and what is that path that is called as a circuit or simply a electric circuit okay so in the electric circuit your electrons flow or you can say electric circuit allows electrons to flow through a closed conductive path and what happens if the electrons flows through a closed conductive path it initiates the flow with your electrical energy sources or you can say uh, uh, initiate with the flow of battery so as you can see in this particular thing okay in this particular circuit so the circuit which i have shown here that is circuit with power source a load and a path okay so so there are basic three things are there in order to uh, 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 in order to electrons to get uh, energized okay and after getting energized they should deliver that particular energy or you can say that work done to be completed okay so what are those three components one is called as source of electrical energy okay so what is this source what it provides the source provides a voltage okay and in in some uh, in some back ppts we have talked about a push or you can say a force so this electrical source of energy is provides a voltage or a force which allows this particular electrons okay to flow through a circuit this is what okay so electrical source when we talk about uh, or uh, you may hear this source of electrical energy like electrical source or a power source okay or uh, you can say a voltage source or energy source okay all these terms are sources of electrical energy okay what is the second basic thing in this particular is the load okay when we talk about a load so load is nothing but uh, 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 load okay here when we talk about load it acts or you can say it absorb your electrical energy in that particular circuit for example we have we have seen that light bulb we have seen a speaker okay so this is what the, your load so load is nothing but your light bulb it can be your motor it can be your refrigerator this is what the load okay so think of this load as the destination of your electrical energy so what we have talking about we have talked about the conduction of this moment or single moment of this electrons and where this moment of electrons goes to it goes to or uh, to the load okay so destination is the load okay so there as we have talked about there are three basic things that is source of electrical energy second one is load and what is the third third is nothing but the path which is required okay that is conductive path you can say that a conductive path what it provides it will provides that electrons to flow between your source of electrical energy to the load this is what we are calling it as a path you can see it here okay so a conductive path which provides 
to conduct this electrons to flow between the source to the load okay uh, so so what are the elements like uh, copper elements is there so copper or you can say other conducting materials are there which provides this conductive path okay got it now uh, when we talk about uh, uh, electric currents okay so an electric current start with the push from a source and flows through a conductive path to the load where your electrical energy uh, uh, makes something happen like for example blowing of a pearl okay light is being emitted okay light is being emitted or rotating of your uh, motor shaft okay and then again it will come back to the other side of the source this is what complete circuit you can see it here okay in this particular figure okay so most oftenly other electron or other electronic spars are also connected through the circuit to control this flow of current okay now now if you simply provides a conductive path okay if you simply provides a conductive path uh, uh, in a closed loop that contains a power source okay that contains a power source but there is a no load like for example here low light bulb okay now if you provide a conductive path okay which is in the closed circuit likewise okay but there is no load likewise there is no light bulb or there will be no a speaker there will be no motor okay or you can say any other uh, uh, external load whether you complete the circuit so yes you can still complete your circuit or you can say close conductive path and the current will also flow in that particular circuit where there is a no load okay so in this case what about the ro role of load uh, or you can say how this load is playing in this particular circuit that is nothing but the resistance of that particular wire or you can say uh, uh, if 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 i wanted to add so the battery has also its internal resistance okay so if there is no load so resistance of wire is also there and internal resistance is also there so that our current can flow in that particular closed circuit path okay okay we will talk about resistance in later so if we have uh, without external load okay in order to absorb that particular electrical energy okay so the heat energy okay heat energy will be generated okay and which can melt your insulation or you can say uh, uh, insulation which is around the wire and it can cause an explosion you can say okay or if you talk about a battery so it can release the dangerous chemicals from the battery okay so yes we will again uh, talk you about it okay so this is kind of circuit where we can uh, uh, we, where we can experience kind of short circuits okay where we can experience kind of short circuit where there is no uh, i can say uh, external load is there okay so next uh, yes so next ppt will come out to this uh, supplying of electrical energy so if you take a copper wire okay if you take a copper wire and if you arrange that copper wire in a closed path okay okay uh, in a closed path so uh, okay and uh, uh, do you think that the free electrons will flow from it okay do you think that electron will flow no so electron electron will not flow or you can say yes but yes there are few you uh, can say loosely electrons are there but it does not cause you the conduction okay uh, uh, because they are uh, 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 because we have not applied a force or you can say uh, force which push that electrons in a particular direction okay so you won't get current to flow in that particular direction <clears throat> so you can think of uh, uh, likewise a motion of water okay like motion of water uh, when just sitting in a closed pipe so the water isn't going uh, to go uh, uh, from one place to another place okay so you need to introduce a force or you can say a pressure in order to deliver that particular energy uh, in order to uh, get a current flowing through a pipe or you can say a water flowing through a pipe not current okay water flowing through that pipe likewise if you consider the electric circuits which needs to uh, needs a source of electrical energy in order to get that electrons to flow around that particular circuit for example batteries or you can say a solar cells these are the common electrical sources okay the electrical energy which are uh, which are available in your house okay it comes from different sources okay which comes from power companies like mscb which comes from different sources and uh, yes we'll talk about that also 
okay so how this electrical energy or you can say generation kind of things that i will also explain you in the upcoming class okay <clears throat> next uh, yes next yes next we will talk about uh, uh, electrical energy okay so the next ppt so uh, yes think about the motion of water then conservation of energy we talk about okay. conservation of energy so how this water uh, conservation of energy is there so if you talk about electrical energy so it does not start it from its scratch okay isn't it created from the scratch okay so how it is created now electrical energy so we need to understand the basic fundamental law of physics that is conservation of energy okay and what it states that conservation of energy that energy can neither be created nor it is destroyed that you already know neither it can be created nor it can be destroyed okay and it can be uh, generated by converting another form of energy or it can be here i have written so energy can only be transferred or it can change from one form to another form okay it can transfer from one form to another form so it is like that it is generated by converting another form of energy that is what the electrical energy for instances we have a mechanical or you can say chemical energy or heat energy or light energy and this energy is converted to the electrical energy exactly how electrical energy is generated okay uh, 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 in the power plants okay that 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 will be uh, taught by your just raj kulkarni sir okay he will take take you about this uh, this kind of stuff okay so when we talk about uh, the electric uh, current okay when we talk about electric current so there are two types of current one is called as the direct current that we call it as in in short form or in abbreviation that we call it as dc so where okay and another one is called as alternating current that abbreviated as ac so up till now we have talked about the movement of electrons in the conductor okay so if that if that conduction or movement is steadily flow okay steadily flow in a direction where there is a very little variation in that uh, uh, movement okay very little variation in that movement or you can say the strength of that current so a steady flow of electrons in one direction that we call it as a dc current okay and what is alternating current that is the fluctuating flow of electrons that changes the direction periodically okay that changes the direction periodically so dc current okay Uh, so like uh, cells okay or you can say a batteries which produce a dc okay and uh, most electronic circuit uses dc okay when what is alternating alternating current okay ac likewise uh, uh, the power companies like mscp which uh, supply the ac current to your uh, your homes okay your homes and uh, that is what your alternating current this is what the examples uh, okay so <coughs> next uh, yes now getting direct current from the battery that we will talk about okay so how do we get a uh, direct current to a battery so you can see in this particular diagram okay this is what one of the pot then we have electric electrolytic chemicals which is there in the okay then uh, uh, then there are two metal electrodes are there okay so uh, so this is what the battery okay so battery what it does it will converts one energy to the another energy that we have talked about so what kind of energy is there in the battery so chemical energy is utilized okay in order to convert that chemical energy to the electrical energy okay and this process what we call it as electrochemical reaction so a battery which converts chemical energy into a electrical energy through a process is called as electrochemical reaction okay so when two different metal which are we can say immerse in a certain chemicals okay so this metal atom reacts with the chemical atom in order to produce charged atom okay and that charged atom we are call it as ions okay we are call it as ions negative ions or you can say positive ions okay so negative ions which you can see it here so negative ions built on one electrode okay or one leg and then positive ion built upon another electrode okay and the difference in this charge across these two electrodes which creates a voltage difference in charge across these two electrodes create a voltage and the voltage is nothing but the force that electrons needs to push around them in a circuit okay so you might think of that oppositely charged ions would move towards each others inside the battery 
because oppositely charge attracts but the chemical inside the battery acts as a barrier in order to prevent this okay so yes in, there is chemical materials or you can say uh, uh, this will not allow this negatively charged ion to attract so this positively ion, uh, charged ion in this chemical com combination okay so to use uh, a battery in order to use your battery in particular circuits you need to connect one side of your load and other other terminal you need to connect to the other side of your load so for instance you have if you want to connect a light bulb so the negative terminal uh, 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 and other side you can connect to the positive terminal okay so terminal you just uh, like a uh, that metal piece you can say that electrodes okay electrodes which we can hook up that particular wire these are the terminals so now you have created a path that allows the charge to move and electrons flow from negative terminal through a circuit to a positive terminal okay here you can see that the electrons which this is what the flow and flowing from negative terminal to the positive terminal okay this is what the terminal <coughs> okay so you have created a path that allows the charge to move from negative terminal to the positive terminal through the circuit okay and as this pass as they pass through the wire filament of the light bulb which is there okay so you can see here in the filaments okay in the filament so this this you can say this close conducting path is through wire wire filament okay in order to blow that particular bulb so some of the electrical energy supplied by the battery is converted to the light and heat which causes this filament to blow and get warm okay so the electrons which keeps flowing as long as the battery is connected in a circuit and electronic uh, that electrochemical reaction continues to take place okay so if we if we remove this battery so your bulb will get off or you can say if this electro uh, electrochemical reaction if we stop so your uh, can say um, that uh, your bulb will not glow so what happens here so chemicals is depleted okay on this battery potential um, battery electrodes okay and then that electrode start uh, uh, generating the ions like positive ions and negative ions this is what the things okay now because of this electrons which moves in one direction that is here you can see that from negative terminal uh, to the positive terminal okay so the electrical current is generated by the battery is dc current that is direct current okay so we have seen in the earlier ppt what is dc current what is ac current okay so electronic movement it is steadily and they do not move that much okay so steady movement of electrons from one terminal to another terminal that is from negative terminal to the positive terminal and that we call it as a dc that is direct current so for example you have triple a batteries double a batteries again we, we when we talk about other batteries like c type batteries are there d type batteries are there okay so so whatever batteries you can uh, you can buy from the market okay so it can generate uh, from uh, we can say 1.5 volt okay regardless of the size okay if you take about triple a batteries or double a batteries so double a batteries which are having a smaller size okay like this i thought to give you the uh, the type of batteries image over here but yes i of course i for forget to add to that and <clears throat> so if you have a different size of the batteries okay so uh, 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 the difference in the size among these batteries has to do with how much current it can draw if you have a different size how much current it can be draw that is again uh, can say uh, different okay that is also can be different so if you take a larger battery okay if you take a larger battery it will draw a more current it will draw a more current also it will long last also it will long last this is what the uh, uh, the take out from this okay take out from this complete uh, this this sort of ppt okay so larger is the battery more is the current can be drawn and longer is the uh, uh, life of the battery okay so again when we talk about a larger battery so larger batteries can handle heavier kind of loads okay heavier kind of loads so we, we have already talked about this uh, power okay you can you remember this formula that power that is nothing but the voltage and uh, uh, voltage multiplied by the current this is what the power okay this is what the power so technically if i want to speak so individually battery isn't really a battery that is a group of units working together okay and that we call it as a cell so if you connect several cells okay that is battery together uh, 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 
uh, or you can say that flashlights are there okay then you can uh, you can you can you can uh, increase its size okay so the battery in your car okay if you take the battery in your car so it is made up of uh, six cells okay six cells so uh, and each cell is uh, generating about uh, 2 to 2.1 volt okay and when we connected it together it will generate 12 to 12.6 volt total okay so this is what uh, yes so yes so uh, for for this today's class i will stop because it's already 12 15 okay so i will stop and then we will see about alternating current from the power plant also that that also i will i will add to this ppd okay right now i will stop here and yes of course you have other lecture also at 12 30 so any any doubts are there you can ask me otherwise uh, i will share you the attendance sheet you can mark your attendance and then you can so this is all about basic electronics you are from mechanical i hope or civil yes sir mechanical, mechanical. okay so have you understood what uh, for today's like class any doubts yes, any doubts yes, sir. no sir, no, sir. Okay, I will share this. Just wait for a minute. Okay, I'm sharing this attendance sheet. रोशन क्लास खत्म हो गया रे सर अटेंडेंस हां एक मिनट दे रहा हूं मैं रिकॉर्डिंग स्टॉप करने दो मेरे को